Hey, I'm Ricky Bobby. I live and die by one motto. If you ain't first, you're last. That's awesome, I know. Small brains. Okay, I'm starting to get sick. You don't drive with your eyes. You gotta feel the road. Come with big wheels. I am coming for you, Ricky Bobby. You sound like a dog with peanut butter on the roof of your mouth. Please be 18. <laughs> From the guys that brought you 40-year-old virgin. I love this on your baby. You're not gonna want to wash that forehead. I'm flying through the air. This is not good. Get out of my fire! Get out of my fire! You're Back not here. on fire, Ricky Bobby! Help me, Jesus! Help me, Tom Cruise! You don't think I'm paralyzed? It's all in your head. Ah! Will Ferrell. Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. You're making me hot. <laughs> Getting a little awkward. Definitely inappropriate. an $80 ticket. She is so into you. Have a good night. It's already been good now that you served and protected me. You got her badge number, plus a month from now you got a date to meet her at the Municipal State Court. Up oh, yeah. yeah! Very nice! Oh. They graduate from high school, and what do they do? Do they go to college? No. Do they take an interest in my store? No. Ian! Why don't you go to Rexall's Drugs, purchase a bottle of chill pills? <laughs> Do they have any idea of the future? No. <laughs> that was in my nose. We are A Club people. You guys want to make out or what? <laughs> but we are just leading this B Club life. You want me? Me? Him? Him? Great. You'll get it. You're fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's mingle. Score! Oh. There he goes! Oh. 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 I broke the window again. A night at the Roxbury. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Can we call you some time, Pocahontas? You got a number? What's some of this? How about a little of that? All right. I've always wanted to be a dad. And let me tell you, I love it. Did you do another drawing of our family? Uh-huh. That's me and Dylan and Mommy. And over here, far away, is you. I love how you drew my hair. That's poop. Well, it's well drawn. Okay, I'm their stepdad. The way I see it, anyone can be a father. But not everyone has the patience or the devotion to be a... Daddy! Brad, Daddy wants to talk to you. Hello, Dusty. Super to make your acquaintance. I'm not going to give you my social security number. Cholesterol? 180. Credit score 758. Very proud of that. Yeah, I guess I could pick you up. I mean, kids, at the end of the day, they know who's been around and who... Holy... <laughs> Well, you're kind to say that. Thank you. The king received word that his dominion was being ruled over by some curly-headed step king with good credit. Oh no! Sounds like your dad's spending quite a yarn. Oh, actually, it's getting late. Aww. Good night, my little magical cherubs. Eskimo kisses. Who wants good night tickles? <laughs> good night back scratches. Oh, hey, who wants twenty bucks? Hey. What? Hey kids, there's someone here now that I hope you guys can learn to love. I thought you were talking about me. Oh, but you're not a dog, Brad. Why is he looking at me like that? No. So what do we got going on over here, man? It's a treehouse. We've only been at it for about two months. Dad, Dad finished the treehouse for you. Hey, be mad. I hope it's up to code. Oh no, watch out, be Brad. It's a pony, Dusty. I'm bad. Take her out, see what she can do. Remember, one down, four up. Everyone knows it's one down, four up. One down, one down, one down! Oh my god! <laughs> it's all just
Just be grateful nobody got hurt, okay? I got hurt! Brad, just stay still. I'll get you. No, please just go and get a shirt on. One lucky fan is gonna get a chance to shoot from half court. This one's for Dylan and Megan and Sarah and Dylan. There's nothing but net. is pretty. Oh, it's not a costume. I'm an elf. Oh. Well, technically I'm a human, but I was raised by elves. New Line Cinema presents the story of one elf who's coming home for Christmas. Boy. Can't wait to see my dad. We're, we're gonna go ice skating and eat sugar plums. <laughs> Sorry. Now. I think someone sent you a Christmas gram. Dad! We should call security. Good idea. I like to whisper, too. Buddy's experiencing a world he never knew existed. Buddy's your son. What am I going to do? He, he's certifiably insane. <laughs> Discovering what it takes to fit in. And going where no elf has gone before. What he needs is to be nurtured. Bring him home. Introduce him to Emily and Michael. How long do you think you'll be with us? <sighs> I was thinking, like, forever. <laughs> He cannot stay here. We can't just throw him out in the snow. He loves the snow. He's told me 15 times. Ow! Son of a nutcracker! We can take him. Where did you say you were from? This holiday season. I think you're beautiful and my tongue swells up when I am around you. Get ready. I plan out our whole day. I thought maybe we could make gingerbread houses and maybe even hold hands. For a tall tale. How are we going to get the star on top? Of elfish proportions. I got it. Will Ferrell. Okay, people, Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! I know him. I know him. Elf. Do you remember me? I do. I didn't recognize you. I know. I'm in work clothes. I didn't know you had elves here. Oh, you're, you're hilarious, my friend. Did you have to borrow a reindeer to get down here? Hey, you're feeling strong, my friend. Call me elf one more time. He's an angry elf. Look at you. Ow. Buddy the elf, what's your favorite color for this town? There was a time when people believed everything they heard on TV. This was an age when only men were allowed to read the news. And one anchor man was more man than the rest. Good evening. I'm Ron Burgundy? Damn it! Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? Hey, Garth, how's the divorce? Oh, not so good. I'll probably never see my kids. Fantastic. I'm not lonely. I'm beloved by everyone in San Diego. You're so wise. You're like a miniature Buddha covered in hair. What are your hopes? What are your dreams? What are your passions? To be the first female anchor. And I'd like to be king of Australia. Seriously, you sound like an insane person. I just got a call from Network, and the decision has been passed down to make Veronica our co-anchor. No! 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 Don't get me wrong. I love the ladies, but they don't belong in the newsroom. It is anchor man, not anchor lady. I don't know what we're yelling about. What if just for tonight, we weren't co-workers, we were co-people. Oh, I'm storming your castle on my steed, milady. We should keep it relatively quiet around the station. Absolutely. I'd also like to share with you that we are currently dating and that she is quite a handful in the bedroom. Uh-oh. Ah! 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 Knights of Columbus, that hurts! What are you doing on our station's turf, Burgundy? Come get a taste. Yay! 
Uh, you took a bullet for me. Uh, and I would not do that again. Uh, it hurts like a mother. Take me. Take me right now. Let's make a baby! Mr. King's car. Man owns the building. At least we can get his car right. Oh, I have almost no cash. Just $9,000. I got your keys. Just so you know, I would have done the same thing if you were white. That's good to know. Money, 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 money. I'm rolling in the money, 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 money. Buenos dias, Cecilio. There's a water spot. You don't think people can see those? Damn it. Get the roof. James King. Yes? You're under arrest for fraud and embezzlement. I have faith that the justice system will exonerate me. I sentence you to 10 years in a maximum security prison. Did he say 10 years? <laughs> My life is ruined. <laughs> because after 30 days, I'm going to prison. <laughs> it's not as bad as I've heard, is it? Hell yeah, it's bad. Teach me how to survive in prison the way you did. Tell me how you know I went to prison. Given your low economic status. Wait, what? Your perceived lack of college education. Lack of, okay. Statistically, you definitely went to prison. I'll see you tomorrow, convict. Hello? You ready, white boy? Ah! Pepper spray, bitch! Prison school's in session. I'm learning so much, this is exactly what I need. What reason did you give him to assume that you went to jail? I was being black. You're not exactly a thug, Darnell. All I gotta do is talk a little deeper. I'm gonna say goodnight. Oh, bitch, don't walk away from me. What the hell did you just say to me? What is up? Stop! What is that? This is my prison readiness program. You master these skills, you will survive in prison. Let me see what your mad dog face look like. What is a mad dog? Your mad dog. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing, James? Sad dogging you. I think that's a strategy that could work. Please don't sexually assault me. I'm already too sad. I go hard. Will it survive? Never decease. This, this ain't no longer your house, man. In peace. I'm a killer. We in San Quentin now. You're in the wrong part of the yard, white boy. She lost this say? I'm very confused. Then go back where you belong. I don't know where I belong. I know it's where you belong. You belong with me. I don't want that. We do this, we do it hard. I can get hard. As your incarceration expert, this is my job to prepare you. We are about to simulate a prison riot. That was intense, right? Actually, I feel fine. Ow! Oh! What? Everybody, sleeping arrangements. Brennan, you're gonna be sharing a room with Dale. Just until the two of you get jobs and you move out. Hey, are you awake? Yeah. I hate your guts. As soon as your eyes shut, I'm gonna punch you square in the face. This is the one rule of the house. Don't ever touch my drum set. Don't touch it! All right. <laughs> Did you touch my drum set? Nope. Why are you so sweaty? I was watching cops. I think they're starting to like each other. What are you doing? I'm burying you. I'm alive, man, I'm alive. You're waking the neighbor, shut up! Okay, name your favorite dinosaur. Velociraptor. All right, if you were a chick, who's the one guy you would sleep with? John, John Samos. Samos. What? Did we just become best friends? Yup. <laughs> You have one month to find jobs or you're out in your asses. What? I will arrange interviews and you will go. Who is this gentleman sitting behind you? Hello, Miss Lady. You can't... Shut, shut, your, shut your mouth. You shouldn't tell the person who is interviewing you to shut their mouth. You're sounding Under stupid five. now. I'm sorry? What did you're you You're just say? coming off stupid. Please leave this office. Do we get any sort of souvenir? Get out of my office! Oh. Well, if it isn't Dale Dobick and his little buddy... Just leave me alone, will you? Shut up! You should treat me, an adult, with some respect. So, maybe you don't go down that way anymore? That's what we talked about. We're gonna take the long way home. Can we turn our beds into bunk beds? You'll give us so much extra space in our room to do activities. You're adults. You can do what you want. This is the funnest night ever! <laughs>
Hey, I never asked you. Yeah. You like guacamole? 